what you said about scams as well i mean that's that's a problem i think there's there's quite like it's a problem everywhere i guess and i know there's like a history of quite like bad scams uh, especially in brazil like i remember my friends showing me these different scams over the years from like different youtube people and stuff um but one thing i struggle with is like i'll explain I'll, i'll talk to like close friends of mine and friends back home in the uk I'll talk to them and, and and they know I'm involved in the, the world of crypto. So I'll get messages often like, oh, you know, what do you think about this like trading bot thing? <laughs> it's just like, I often get like trading bots or, um, and it's so common, it happens all the time. Or like, oh, you know, this, this, this person or this website says like, if I just put the money there, then they'll trade it and it will make me like, you know, double the amount every month or something. And it's like, oh, <laughs> like it's always the same thing that people seem to fall, fall for. Um, but I, if anything, I kind of find that, Once I talk to people in Brazil about it and explain like, hey, you know, you should keep it yourself for this reason and that reason. And, and then usually people are more open to it in the UK because I think in the UK, uh, we're almost like spoiled that like, okay, there are scams, but like with the banking and the government and stuff, generally people haven't had major issues with their money for the last 30 plus years or something. Whereas, you know, in Brazil, you had like Plano Color in the early 90s and you've got like, you know, a lot of like de the, the currency destabilizing and devaluing quickly. And so there's all these things that I think mean Brazilians are more open to and like understand immediately the idea of like, hold your own damn Bitcoin, like not your keys. Uh, so I feel like they understand that a lot more. Um, that'd be yeah, my feeling. I don't know if you think the same yeah. thing or not. Sure, completely. In the 90s, there were a president that confiscated the savings account of Brazilians, the color. So most pre the, the youngest don't remember this, so don't, didn't leave it. But it's a scar in our economy. So when we talk about this confiscation of the savings, Brazilians uh, quickly understand why you need to to keep your own keys and to uh, save your own Bitcoin in your uh, wallet, your cold storage. So this is, um, I think, yes, this is the. the the reason why Brazilians are more open to save their own keys and inflation as well here is something that keeps uh, helping us to, to educate about the needs of Bitcoin that in other countries now there's inflation, but two or three years ago, there wasn't. I suppose like what we're to, to switch the topic a little bit, but something I'm interested in is um, you guys to date have obviously uh, created like a successful YouTube and Instagram and, and, and general following and, and you're educating people. And I know that you're currently working on like a, a Bitcoin education website. Um, what is your kind of, what's your kind of goal when it comes to all this stuff? Like, do you have like a future goal in mind or like a, a dream that you're trying to achieve and like a kind of a roadmap to that? Or like what, what, what do you guys think is gonna, what are we gonna see from user crypto in the next you know few years uh, if, if all goes well? Yeah, we want to, we started an educational uh, channel in YouTube, went to Instagram, and now we are, we are going to um, ad tech, like a, a platform of educational content for, for Brazilians. And don't um, depend only on YouTube, because we know YouTube can cut us off any moment they like. So we started to create our own platform where uh, our followers can uh, enter and consume our content and we want to grow over there we just launched it it was like two weeks ago we just launched this platform and to create content brazilians will be able to uh, understand bitcoin learn how to to buy how to use a, a wallet uh, everything will be there we want to be the, maybe the biggest platform in brazil or maybe latin america maybe in the world let's see where we can go and that's it for now for the short term maybe in the future we want to create more uh, products and more uh, tools for brazilians to understand bitcoin like a bitcoin calculator in portuguese because most of the tools are in english so that's what we want to make uh, in our platform to create tools to help Brazilians to calculate, to see through other signs how to use Bitcoin in their daily lives. And that's, that's it. We, we want to grow from there. What's the most popular wallet in Brazil that people use? Most popular. Great question. I think it's Electrum or Exodus, Edge Wallet as well. And the cold wallets like Trezor and Ledger. But the most, there, there's not one most most common. 
they are pulverize it. And do people, um, I know there's like Brazilian Bitcoin exchanges. Do people favor those or are they trying to use Binance uh, because there's more volume? They use a lot Binance, but there is uh, Brazilian uh, exchanges that they are really old. Like they started in 2013, like uh, Mercado Bitcoin, Foxbit, uh, Bitcoin Trade. There's a lot of uh, exchanges here in Brazil. But because of the volume and the um, number of crypto, Brazilians use a lot Binance as well. Yeah, I think Binance has something like 30, roughly 35% of the market. I think something around that. And then there's like Bitpresso, Mercado Bitcoin, Novadax, Foxbit, Bitcoin to you are like the, the other ones that like lag behind it from, from my understanding anyway, I can, I can say. But yeah, Binance has got a pretty strong foothold. But Mercado Bitcoin's expanding I think Foxbit potentially too, but the heart of Bitcoin is trying to expand out into um, other areas of uh, South America, uh, I think too. Uh, they got funding for that. So it's exciting to see like the Brazilian uh, exchanges and companies grow outside of Brazil. Uh, it'd be cool to see how that goes. Yeah, and that's a um, curious movement. A lot of exchanges, Brazilian exchanges are moving abroad, but also uh, big exchanges are coming to Brazil. We heard about Kraken, Coinbase are coming uh, here, and maybe other companies from that that uh, are not exchanges are coming here too. I think because of this environment, uh, Brazilians are curious. Our currency is not that good. We have a history of inflation. Our central bank is open for innovation. Maybe it's a good uh, place for companies to come, and com Brazilian companies are growing from here to other places as well. You mentioned that there's a lot of interest in coins that are other than Bitcoin, like different altcoins. What What's the most popular, like Ethereum? Ethereum, Solana, many coins, Shiba Doge. Brazilians are crazy about shit coins. And they are really popular because of this illusion of getting rich quick. And But we, 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 we think that is a start. People come to speculate through price. And those who want to learn more and to study Bitcoin fundamentals will stay and will keep um, study. And that's a process. I've met quite a lot of people into Ethereum, especially in Floripa and like areas like that, which is, it's cool. Like there's a lot of people really into to ETH and like the community seems really strong. And, and a lot of these people were really interested in like DAOs and like building up groups of, you know, interested people working together. And so I, I think that's quite like an exciting things so there seems to be a lot of that i remember chilies as well was really big for a while in brazil like a lot of people seem to want to buy chilies <laughs> um chili so can because i think because the, the value went up so quick <laughs> that's why <laughs> yeah and, and chilies has something to do with football and soccer and here people are crazy uh, with soccer and they are passionate about soccer so they keep two things together crypto and soccer and people went crazy about chilies and all the fun tokens that were launched uh, last year. Are there any Brazilian based like crypto projects that we might have heard of? Uh, Brazilian projects. There are some, uh, most of them are about wallets and exchanges. We see this uh, Jericoacoara movement starting to teach uh, Brazilians, but they are using crypto creating platforms, but most of them are through negotiation, exchanges and business creating access to negotiate Bitcoin through their, their, their business models. What we are seeing a lot right now are traditional business integrating Bitcoin cryptocurrencies to their business, like Mercado Pago, that is a uh, version of Mercado Livre, that it's an Argentinian company uh, that came to Brazil years ago. Now they are starting to offering a uh, Bitcoin and crypto purchase in their platform, but Brazilians can't withdraw. They just can buy and, and receive as a cash cashback in their app, but they can't withdraw the, their cryptos. Also, there is 99 pay that was kind of like an Uber in the past and or, uh, it still is like an Uber, like a car transportation app. But they are also um, letting Brazilians to negotiate and receive cash back in Bitcoin. So we are perceiving this uh, business model changing and integrating Bitcoin in their uh, negotiations. 
quite a few different Brazilian projects that are like smaller crypto based projects that I've come across in time. Um, but like a lot of them are, you know, pretty, uh, <laughs> they're like usually a bit weird or dodgy seeming like, um, but there's usually some like this, there's, there's often some interesting ones, but it's not like, uh, there's not many around Bitcoin that I usually find anyway. Um, so as you say, it's more like exchanges and on the business side. That's my experience anyway. Yeah, uh, not not that much about Bitcoin. Most of them are negotiation exchanges and crypto uh, most uh, voted. And traditional banks. The traditional b banks are coming, offering cryptocurrencies, but like through ETFs and through funds. But it's not like a straight negotiation. It's true fiat system integrating Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as an opportunity of investment for Brazilians. But there are not that much uh, projects strictly about Bitcoin, crypto, and trying to grow from there from uh, business models. Most of them are about uh, exchanges. Since everyone has bank accounts and there's lots of exchanges, is there any peer-to-peer -peer market? Like, do people use local bitcoins or like binance peer-to-peer -to, -peer to sell directly to each other yeah they, they use there is um a website called catalogo p2p or catalogo p2p and uh but it's common but it's the it's not the main uh, tool that brazilians use most of brazilians use use exchanges to buy and to sell bitcoin cryptocurrencies and this is um, an old project that tried to create a ranking of peer-to-peer -peer Brazilians that uh, offer Bitcoin crypto negotiation. But we have here a lot of scams as well with when uh, fake profiles contact people through social media, through Instagram, through Twitter, trying to offer Bitcoin crypto peer-to-peer. But Catalogo P2P tried to rank the, those peer-to-peer -to, -peer to Brazilians. Paxos, Paxos, it's not really common. Local Bitcoin is not, not really common here. Yes, Brazilians use it, but not that much as uh, exchanges. Has crypto made it to uh, pop culture, like Brazilian pop culture? Like in, in the United States, we see like Paris Hilton releasing NFTs or like sports teams having NFTs and, and things like that. Um, is that a thing in Brazil? Yes, but Brazilians were a little late here. When things started in the USA, people start to notice about the NFTs, the metaverse hype, and some uh, celebrities here in Brazil, yes, they, they, they bought NFTs like Neymar, for example, and this made a fuss about NFTs and the crypto market and metaverse. But when the price went down, Brazilians uh, stopped to search about this this content and these tools, and right now we are at this moment where demand is a little low, the price went down, and nobody is talking that much about NFTs. But it's a short term, you know. The, the hype went in, until November, December, and right now everybody forgot. Maybe when the price went up, Brazilians will come back to talk about it again. But the same hype that we see globally, like NFTs, Metaverse, here in Brazil, it's that strong as well. Yes, we see celebrities talking about it and launching their, their own uh, NFTs. I think hopefully people out there listening are going to get a good idea of um, what it's like in Brazil with cryptocurrency and like the differences uh, between where they are um, and, and Brazil. So that's really useful. And, and um, I usually, uh, when, I'm, when I'm here, whenever I uh, meet people who are interested about uh, Bitcoin and stuff. I usually, uh, well, I always say like, just go on Instagram and go and use crypto. Can <laughs> I just, just watch that stuff? So I'm like, it's like simple and easy and like friendly way of learning about it. Um, whereas like there's some, there's a lot of channels that are a bit like, like super trading oriented and like kind of about like shit coins and stuff or, um, or like just like very kind of like annoying to watch. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think you guys do it, do it best. Um, when it comes to the, the Portuguese language, um, that would be my opinion, but yeah, I thanks for. I do, I do have one one last question before we yeah. go. Um, seeing as you're a content producer in the Portuguese language, uh, do you have like a following in Portugal as well? We thought about it, but we uh, didn't go forward because we thought oh, Brazil is so huge; it's like a continent-sized country. 
let's um, uh, produce in, con uh, in Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese, and maybe we can create something like in Portugal. But we have a lot of fo followers from Europe, Portugal, and Africa, the places that uh, speak Portuguese as well. So the followers fi find us, the people from, from other countries, but that's something to talk about. If exchange can go to other countries, maybe use crypto could go as well. But that's a future thing, maybe in the next years. You have to start speaking with a Portugal Portuguese accent, which, hey, for me, from my perspective, I, I cannot understand a damn word people say in Portugal, like nothing. It's like very yeah. um, kind of like it's very different. There's like a kind of I don't know. It sounds like a sort of, sort of like a not lisp, but there's like a very different sound to the accent. And, it sounds almost like Russian to me. Like I can't stand a wording on says in Portugal. Um, but there you go. Um, but I, I'm sure like it's easier if you speak uh, like your native language is Portuguese, right? So for Brazilians, I'm sure it's easier to understand people in Portugal and vice versa. Um, yeah, okay. Well, th thanks so much for, for joining us today, Carol. It's been awesome. I uh, really appreciate you coming on. And I'm sure everyone out there listening has appreciated it as well. Um, and as I said before, if, if you want to check out, it's on Use Crypto on uh, Instagram and well, YouTube. You can just Google it, quite frankly, and, and you guys will come up. Uh, I think you're on Twitter as well. Um, and yeah, I think the other thing we mentioned was the um, Bitcoin Beach project as well. Like, check that out in Brazil. See if you can support it, if you want to support it. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining us. It's been uh, amazing. Is there anything you want to like uh, say or anything you want to like, uh, you know, uh, bring attention to or anything like that before you, we head out? Thank you, Lawrence. For, it was a pleasure to be here. I'm a big fan of Bitrefill and I'm, I'm a big user of Bitrefill. I'm pretty happy to be here talking to you. So uh, anyone that wants to check out Use Crypto and our job and our work in Brazil, it's it would be amazing to talk about and to show our work. And thank you for this talk and for this opportunity to talk with you as well. And hope to see you again when we go, I don't know, other conference or maybe El Salvador or maybe Brazil when you were there, we're here. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, I should be back hopefully again this year once I, I'll leave soon, but I should be back again this year, fingers crossed. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. You never know. I might be able to pop by. Um, yeah, thanks for coming on. Everyone out there listening, um, have an amazing day, week, month, year. Uh, we love you lots. Have Keep enjoying life and loving life um, and keep on buying Bitcoin. See you later. Ciao, ciao. Valeu. Ciao, ciao.